Welcome back guys to this up close and personal video. <laughs> I think I zoomed in quite enough so that's why I'm saying it's up and personal. Because yeah, as the title says itself, today I will be doing one of my favorite, well let's say recent favorite, makeup look. It's kind of going to be a get ready with me, yet again like a tutorial, yet me talking about what is up. So if you're interested, stay tuned, we can sit, chat and all that. My face is just a mess right now, but my face is just full of nasty pimples because that PMS be hidden hard, but I guess you understand and you can totally uh, look over that. <laughs> I have just been in the shower so my hair is damp, I have what moisturized my face, and I will start off with uh, my foundation. And for foundation, I use the Madara Cosmetics City CC Cream, which is not really a foundation, it is a, um, well, it's a CC cream. It's not foundation, but I use it as foundation because foundations are a little bit too heavy for me um, and I don't use them on a daily basis. So if I want something very casual and easy, I go with this. Anyway, I got my Half Dirty Beauty blender and this, and we can just go. I can start off, um, my little chat. So what has been going on? Starting, I, I think I will start off with the fact that I just want to thank everyone who has been so, so, so supportive, especially on one of my last videos where I was talking about my Lyme disease. Uh, I was actually afraid that people will be like judging me that I'm talking about it or I just overthought it a little bit, but you guys proved me wrong. Dotting it all over my face so I don't get it on the sheets. <laughs> and take my beauty blender and blending it all out. So yeah, I was very surprised on the feedback and all of that and like all the all the nice wishes. So thank you guys, I really do appreciate it. And along with that, uh, right now my health has been pretty okay. Like let's say pretty consistent. Like I haven't been feeling uh, physically, I haven't been feeling uh, too, too bad or, st or stuff like that. I've been having a few migraines, but that's because of stress. Uh, and uh, yeah, but my mental health right now is a little mess because as I said, I'm stressed because right now I am trying to finish Art Academy, which is actually a, a bit weird and difficult because I mean, it is in these times. I'm not actually going to Art Academy. I have like my studies from home and it's just, it's bizarre. Yeah, that's not how I imagine my studies at Art Academy to end is like sitting at home quarantined, but what's happening is happening and um, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It's just weird because I don't feel like I'm ending my art academy. It just feels like I'm doing a bunch of homeworks that I have huge deadlines on and stuff like that. So it feels weird and also like the stress gets the best of me. So I've been a little bit hectic lately and a little bit too emotional. But it's just me. That's what happens when you get stressed and, and, and all that. So it's okay. It's okay, you know? For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing me posting how I'm writing my bachelor thesis and how I'm making my graduation work or diploma work, whatever you call it. Uh, since I'm in Art Academy, just like a little background, I have to write a bachelor thesis on the theme that I am making my diploma work on and I'm making my diploma work a little video, like you can make anything you want. I'm making, well, let's say not a little video, just a video about how it is to have a migraine. It's not like a documental thing, it's more of an artistic thing. So it's from my point of view about how it is to experience a very full-blown migraine. And I've tried to make it like artistic and a little bit abstract yet again, in a way that others can understand what it's like. So many of you have been also asking me like what I'm up to and what I'm making and so I don't have to uh, explain to every single person uh, individually. Here it is. Yeah, I'm making my my diploma work about migraines uh, because, well, you guys who are, have been here for a good while know that I suffer from migraines a lot and for a very long time. And as much as I did write my uh, bachelor thesis, I calculated. Well, I've been suffering from migraines for 14 years. Oh my god. That's a lot. <laughs> so I think I lightened down my foundation as much as I can as much as I can, <laughs> yeah. So now I'm gonna be going in with, with some concealer. Uh, I would be using Madara Cosmetics concealer, but I'm out of it, so I just got 
a random concealer that I could find on the go and it is a little bit too a little bit too light for this like it's not too light for my skin shade but this is a little bit darker than my skin shade because like my skin tone like varies a little bit in between the lights and the grays and the reds and the blues whatever um, but I, I need to conceal these pimples somehow so it is what it is. But yeah, what I was saying is that I also always wanted to make like an artwork on migraines because I wanted to make it so others understand what it's like to have a migraine and like just make an artwork on it because I, I've always wanted to put out my visions that I've had during a migraine. Of course, because of the situation in the world and all that, I couldn't be able to uh, create the diploma work exactly how I wanted it to, but I tried my best to make it work. Um, and of course, when it's gonna be all over and done with, I don't know when you're gonna see this video, by the way, because I need to submit all of my work on the 25th, and today's the 20th. No? Today's the 20. What today is? Oh my god, what today is? Today's the 21st. Yeah, so today's the 21st. And I have four days until submitting my full finished diploma work and it's scary. Um, it's like halfway done and I just have my other computer here so I can work from home. And, uh, and I also, like, if I want like a different environment, I go to my dad's house to work because if I sit at home, there are too many things distracting me. So if I go somewhere to dedicatedly work on, the, on, on my diploma work, I will actually go there and do that the whole day. But these two days that I've been home, I've been very productive on it, so props to me. I will be putting my diploma artwork video on Vimeo. Vimeo, Vimeo, I have never heard anyone pronounce it in English, uh, sorry for that. And because I won't be posting it on YouTube because I think it won't make any sense with the content that I'm creating. <laughs> and uh, yeah, since in Vimeo I always post like my uh, artsy videos that I've made in the past so if you are guys interested i can let you know what when that is up i don't know how it is for you guys uh who are also i don't know graduating this year or just or just doing school still uh how it's like different for everyone how other schools come up with ways to like submit your artworks to do tests and all that it's just it's interesting it's different for everyone and we will have like the system made that we're gonna have to submit our work onto online and also I'm a little bit sad. I don't know what's gonna happen with our graduation or if even we're going to have it. Yeah, it, it, that's just like a little bit sad for me because I felt like this should be this, this big thing that I'm graduating Art Academy, wow! But it doesn't feel like it just because of the situation. Like I'm not dedicatedly going to Art Academy. I'm not just like just doing all these things. I'm just sitting at home and making a video, which is comfortable, not gonna lie, but it's not giving me the feeling like I'm finishing art academy you know what i mean i don't know if someone can relate let me know i've got so many pimples on my freaking chin and jawline it is insane what has been going on like i guess it's stress because when i'm stressed i do get pimples in that area so as much as much as i tried uh, i tried to lay down my concealer and foundation as seamlessly as possible. Yeah, and after this, we go on to setting powder or setting spray or whatever you like. I like to set everything because I have an oily face. So if you like a more dewy look, you can definitely go ahead and not set this all down, but I like a matte finish since my face is already oily and in a few minutes, it's gonna return to this little oily look and all that, but for now, Let's set it so it doesn't run around. <laughs> so that's what's up with Art Academy, if anyone is even interested in that type of information. But it's my life and I said I'll be trying to make my content a little bit more personal and a little bit more like involved in my personal life and be a proper YouTuber. <laughs> I don't know what that even means. I'm still gonna be making tattoo content. Don't leave me, please, if you're here for the tattoo content. But. I just also think I'm just starting to mix in more of my own personal life. Powder is done. Now I'm going to move on to the brows. Um, I always do the brows off camera because it's just, I can't do my brows in this. My brows are just so difficult to do because they're so moody. <laughs> and every single time I do them like a little bit differently, like no one who looks at me on a daily basis could know, notice that, but every single day that I draw them on, it's just like, it's different every time. 
There are my good brow days and my bad brow days. So today for the brows, I'm gonna be using my Catrice Eyebrow Stylist Pencil. This is the one that I've been using for years. And I've also recently started doing my brows like a little bit more upwards. So that's why I've kind of gotten rid of the eyebrow tail, even though I don't really have it either way. <laughs> it, it's just growing white hairs, but I started like drawing a little bit like upwards and not downwards so it doesn't make my face like that. I've been watching so many YouTube makeup tutorials. Oh my god. But I tried that out and I liked how it looked. It didn't make my face look a little bit more elevated and all that. I like it nice and sharp so I can imitate the strokes of the hairs on my eyebrows. So what I do is I brush it up. Well, whatever is left of my brow, I brush it off. And I take the pencil and I start from the front, do some little hair strokes. And I'm trying to fill in only the sparse areas like I used to draw in my brows like entirely, just make them too freaking dark. But I always overdo them a little. Like I want that natural brow-ish look, but I'm just bad at it. Um, and then I kind of just uh, keep on doing this and follow the shape of the brow. And then when I get until the end of the tail, which is not really there, I start drawing kind of, not upwards, but like a little bit straight. I don't, I try, I'm not trying to pull it down. I'm just trying to go, trying to continue the same kind of direction. Yeah, I don't know if this makes sense. I'm not a beauty guru. And I connect the upper line with the bottom. And then I just continue feeling it like this. Until I'm kind of satisfied with the shape. I will end up with a little bit of a thicker brow than you see now. But it depends on like how I draw it. And if I draw the other brow similarly. Or if I have to even it out, you know. Today is not my best brow day, gonna tell you that, but we're gonna roll with what we have. Moving on, the brows are down, and I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I usually, when I do my foundation, I start with the brows, with the eyes, and with the cheeks, and I, I just kind of move downwards. I'm gonna be going in with this Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick <laughs> in the color Stone. I have no idea if they make these anymore, I haven't checked, my mom got me this. And uh, yeah, I know Bobbi Brown isn't uh, vegan, but I've had this for so long, so I'm just gonna use it until it ends. I'm just going to try and find an alternative, but I really love the shade and I really love how easily it applies. It is a little bit like creamy and when you apply it to the eye, it's so easy. There's it's like, that's the easiest way to have eyeshadow. And the look that I'm going for is a little bit smoky, so this is just perfect. Just do this. I don't know if you can even see. I kind of draw in this kind of circular line, well that's a little bit too much. And then I start blending with my finger. I blend it all over the lid. And it blends really well because it's a little bit creamy, but not too creamy where it's like sticky. It's very, in a very good consistency. See how that blended so well. And then I just add more if necessary. And then I also go on the bottom lash line just a little. And then I also blend that with my finger. So I think this eye is okay. And then I can go on to the other eye. So I try to do my best on blending the eyeshadow onto my eyes. So yeah, that's what we are going for the smoky type of little look, but not too smoky, you know, where it's not too dark but it just kind of gives some depth to the eyes. You have no idea how this looks on camera because I know that makeup in cam on camera looks a little bit more dull than it does in real life, but we're gonna roll with what we have. Next up, I will go in with a black eyeliner. Not eyeliner, black eye pencil. Whoops. This is one of the shittiest ones I have. I don't have a good black eye pencil. I needed one once really fast and uh, I didn't get it. Uh, you can also go in with like eyeliner, but eyeliner is just too much effort for me. So I'm just gonna put this a little bit over the lid to make it like draw more attention to the eye. Why am I trying to sound like I'm a like I know what I'm doing <laughs> when I really I don't think I do or do I do I don't know. I'm not gonna draw a winged like eyeliner. I'm just gonna do it over the lid and maybe try and smudge it out with my finger a little. Yeah, while I'm doing that, what else is new? 
I have TikTok, which is, I don't know is if that is a new high or a new low for me, I have no idea, but I despise TikTok for so long and I thought it's just, it's not for me. But I also think that TikTok as a platform has changed a little, like a year ago, it was just all furries and just cringe content. Uh, but then recently it kind of became the new vine where it's actually funny and there are actually normal people on there. So I thought, why should I be sitting and watching TikTok compilations on YouTube when I can be doing that on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, guilty as charged. I like funny videos. So yeah, I'm on TikTok. And if you like, if you'd like, follow me on here, on there. That's my nickname. It's the same as my Instagram nickname. And you can find uh, the information down below in my description. But I know, yeah, like TikTok is addicting. Everyone was telling me that. I'm like the confused millennial generation girl <laughs> that is like, I will never be on TikTok. And then I am on TikTok. Yeah, judge me as much as you want. <laughs> And also guys, if you're interested, I could I could do like a watching my favorite TikToks video because I've seen so many YouTubers do it. And it's a lot of fun, quite frankly. That's how I find new funny TikToks. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you want that type of video. <laughs> yeah, I've dropped the, the pencil just to make my eyes pop a little. And I've done this look previously and I really did love how it looked with my fake freckles, with my henna freckles, but they recently washed off. So I haven't redrawn them on. But I could maybe try and draw, draw them on with my brow pencil because it's kind of the same shade, but we'll see. So I go in and doing my lashes. I wish I was so invested in uh, doing makeup and putting on like fake lashes because I do have fake lashes, but I just can't put them on. I have tried so many times and I just can't for the life of me. I can't put on false lashes. It's just, I'm so bad at it. I'm so bad at it. And also like my natural lashes are so curved up that trying to set a lash that is like trying to set a fake lash on there is just so hard. I've seen so many people trying out this new thing where you have like an eyeliner that is magnetic and you have the false lash that comes on to your just like sticks to the magnetic eyeliner and it looks like so easy. I would like to try that because I just can't glue them on for the life of me. But I like how they look. Like sometimes it looks really cool. But but yeah, I just can't I just can't put the put them on. All right. So the lashes are done. So now we could put on some blush. So I'm just putting on some blush. I like going like really blushy, but for this look, just like a little bit of blush will do just fine. You don't have to go overboard, but if you like, you do you. That's the blush. I think I will draw a few freckles. Like I see some of them are still on my nose, like here, here, and here, but I don't think you can see them, but I will just put some little dots on there because I just like how it looks. It looks so nice. It looks so nice when there are some freckles on my face. I'm just trying to refresh the ones that I had. I see little like contours of them left, but I don't think you can see them. Um, guys, let me know if you want like a henna freckle tutorial, even though there are millions of tutorials on YouTube, how to make henna freckles, but I've heard some requests from you guys for me to make them because I've been like posting pictures and me having fake freckles on Instagram a lot. And so many of you are like, Hey, how did you do it? And stuff like that, because I know that there are so many ways you can go wrong with it but I've mastered my craft and I can share my knowledge if you'd like. <laughs> this looks way better when they're actual henna freckles, but I guess you get the point, you know, like the, the composition of it. So now we can move on to the lips. I'm sorry guys, if this is a hell of a long video, but I'm trying my best. Um, I'm going to be, let's say shading my lips. Like I'm not going to be doing a full lip, but I'm just going to be patting it on and just creating a little, I don't know, illusion, whatever. Uh, with the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in Rose Brown. I've mentioned this a lot of times before. I still have it. It's really old, probably expired. So what I do is I have it like in an angle. I don't know if you can see it, should probably sharpen it, but I start off by drawing a little bit on the bottom lip, like so. Like maybe even a little bit outside the bottom lip, just like 
just like a little bit and then in the middle I just tap it so if you put all the attention and the saturation in the middle of the lip it's gonna make it look more bigger if that's what you're going for and if like I don't know if you can see but like if it's wider in the middle and then it goes tinier or slimmer to the corner of your mouth it makes it look like it has this shape like it's bigger i don't know optical illusion baby but if you make it like the same size everywhere it's just gonna make you look like you have big lips all around but if you want that natural i don't know feel the illusion like you have a little bit of plump lips then this is the way to go at least i like to do it that way uh so yeah did it on the bottom lip and on the upper lip and on the upper lip i just start patting it around the cupid's bow not around it but like, you know, you see what I'm doing. My English is just a mess like this. And then I take my finger and I just dab it. Smudge it out maybe a little bit. So it's not, so there are no harsh lines. Sort of like this. I have no idea how, my, how well I did it on this tiny mirror. And I bet when I'm gonna look in the big mirror, I'm gonna be like, ooh, that's not good. But you get the idea. And that's what I'm trying to go for today. And um, that's it. That's the look, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like it? I think I didn't talk too much throughout this video uh, because I just got so invested in creating the makeup look and just being stressed about my camera turning off every 12 seconds. Um, but yeah, this is the look. I don't know my kind of daily look right now. I like how it looks. Um, how many times I'm gonna say the word look. In conclusion of this video, we learned that I am struggling with my art academy right now and that I am on TikTok. I guess I really have reached a new low in my life. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait for my art academy to end and then I just, just, I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna be free. I don't wanna study no more. I've been studying nonstop for 16 years. I just want a break. Like I had so many mental breakdowns during art academy where I was actually about to leave but my parents kind of talked me into staying and art academy has been just a huge nightmare for me because I just, but that's my personal take on it. Like other of my classmates have, or course mates have a different view on it and everyone has a different experience with it. So my personal experience is that I did not like it. <laughs> anyway, guys. This was fun. I like doing these random videos. Let me know how you feel about those. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, leave me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you back soon in my next video. Bye.